Coach says you work hard. What do you think? That's a great compliment. So um, we're just here. We just got here, so we're excited to, you know, do what we can for the team. Um, but yeah, definitely working hard. Yeah, for sure. Going off her. Um, yeah, just uh, trying to do whatever we can to help the team. Um, um, I think that we've always been very driven and determined for basketball, and we're super excited to see what we can do here. Katie was saying that you guys are. You know, you're famous for TikTok and this and that and all your business stuff, but that you guys are super serious about yeah. basketball and that you're not going to be outworked. And she just stressed that over and over about, about your work ethic. Um, can you just talk about that? I mean, it's, how did you guys first pick up basketball and, and what is it? Can you sort of describe your love for the game and what do you think you're going to bring this program, each of you? Um, right, I think that we were basketball players before TikTokers. I think people forget that. Um, but uh, we started playing basketball at a young age. My dad played, my mom always played. My dad played in college, actually at Nova Southeastern. So um, we loved it and we loved playing together. I think uh, playing together like side by side um, was something Hannah and I loved to do. Um, and then I'm just excited to be here, like Hannah said, going off, just doing what we can to help the team win. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I think just going off for the love of the game, I think just the competitive side of basketball, we love it. We're very competitive people, so I think sharing that together is obviously something special. And um, being on this journey with her um, from transferring to playing Division One basketball together is like something that uh, well, we obviously are very passionate about. Um, but I think just what we're going to bring to the team is just our work ethic and um, just trying to do whatever we can to help the team win. And um, obviously the competitive chip on the shoulder, we kind of have that, so. How about competition between you two? Because sometimes siblings compete, or what if one of you gets to start, you know, when you were young or whatever, one was the starting lineup and one was on the bench. What, I mean, how do you guys deal with being twins and the competition that you guys must have faced amongst your, each other? Right. I think that it's inevitable like that people compare us because we are sisters and we do the same thing and have the same passions, but me and Hannah are each other's biggest supporters, so um, we definitely hold each other accountable and very competitive with that, but it's never against each other. It's more for each other. Yeah, just going off where Haley said, I think um, obviously being a twin, people are going to point out that, um, but at the end of the day, on the court, she's my teammate, just like any of the other girls in the locker room, so... They're going to continue to support them and be their biggest cheerleader. Um, but, yeah, I think holding each other accountable and being competitive with each other is what got us here in the first place. So they'll always be, like, driving us, I think. What is basketball like in Arizona? You guys played at Gilbert, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we played yeah. at Gilbert. I loved, I loved high school basketball. It was super fun. Um, my club coach actually was the high school coach there, so we always had a great relationship and um, really close with the girls on the team in high school. I miss it. I miss high school basketball. Yeah. So. You guys are pioneers in the NIL space, mm -hmm. you know, with Champ Sports and all that. You know, what's it like, you know, being part of that learning process and, you know, one of the first of the, the NIL? Or um, yeah, it definitely has been um, a journey for sure, um, starting out, obviously. Like you said, we didn't really know much about NIL, but um, just kind of learning as we go. Um, creating a team around us with our agency and um, our attorney has been um, very impactful with time management in school. Um, but yeah, it's been awesome. I love champs. I love being able to be their first female athletes and being able to represent such an amazing company as well as um, other brands that we work with. Can you talk about why you chose, you know, why did you choose to leave Fresno and why Miami? And has it been what you thought it was gonna be when you made the selection? Right, we chose to leave Fresno. Um, obviously it was a really hard decision. We're big on relationships and I love everyone there, but I just think um, we wanted to be at a more competitive level, get to the March Madness tournament. Obviously, last year Miami had a great season, um, and we were watching it at home. So I wanted to, you know, be there, be playing in March Madness. So that was uh, definitely the point for him and I of transferring. Um, yeah, everything, everything. Uh, when since we've been here, um, being able to just be a part of the team, they're so welcoming, and coach just drives competitiveness and holding each other accountable and working hard. So I love it so far. What's been, I guess, or what's been the, the biggest? adjustment from Fresno to here? That's a great question. I would say the biggest adjustment is, I would say the phys physicality. Um, you have to definitely um, be physical for me. Uh, that's like definitely something I have to, um, I learned more, but I think I got a little bit of the hang of it now. Uh, but yeah, and 
I think the pace of practices, um, we always would go long there too, but just the pace and, you know, like every single drill you're going, you're going hard and you're competing. So, um, yeah, I would just say that and the physicality for sure. Was there a moment where you were like, oh, okay, this is different. This is, you know, a change. Um, not really a moment. I just kind of like once you are, you know, you, you know, you get hit a little bit and you're like, okay, you're not going to get a foul called here. So might as well, you know, challenge yourself and be more physical too. What was your, your initial interest when, you know, you, you wanted to transfer? There are a lot of good schools and a lot of conferences, a lot of places. Uh, was your initial interest in Miami partly because your, your dad had a history in this area? Or what, what drew you to UM in the very beginning? Why were you watching them during March Madness? What was it about Miami? Right, we were watching everyone, but I just think that um, my family, my grandparents live in Naples. So um, being able to be close to family was something important to Hannah and I. And then, uh, yeah, I just think once we got on campus and learned more about Coach and her program and her vision and the culture she's established here was something it's really hard to say no to. Um, as you know, I've, once you get to know her, she's great. So, Is, How's your grandparents doing with, with the storm? Yeah, they got hit hard. So Our sister did, too. Our she, sister did, too. She, she lives she here. She lives well. in St. Pete, our older sister. So oh. they got hit. She had to leave St. Pete. They evacuated them and went to – they go to – Naples? Yeah, but it was like on the side that didn't get hit. Yeah, so they didn't go as get as hard, but they lost service for a couple, but luckily everyone's safe. But. And your grandparents' house in Naples, that was fine? Yeah, it, they just lost service too, so. Couple more questions. Thank you for asking that. Yeah, I appreciate that. What stood out to you about Coach Myers culture coming over from Arkansas? Um, I love her honesty. Um, right when we got on campus, I could see the relationship she has with her players, and that's just something you can't fake. Um, just talking to the girls. Um, and just learning about the program um, was something that was really attractive to Haley and I and like undeniable. So it was kind of hard to say no. She said that both of you are very determined to win on the biggest stage. How do you feel about that opportunity here in Miami? I think that's why we transferred. I think being able to, you know, put yourself in a situation to win and be a part of something special, um, especially like here at Miami is something we wanted and that's why we're here. Yeah. How do you think that you guys, um, you know, the program has been good for a while uh, adding you raises the profile of the program just because you guys have so many fans and everything. Uh, does that side of it, what, what, what are your goals as far as trying to raise the profile of this program and getting more people, getting more students to come out and watch the women's team play here? Right. I think um, I would just say that female sports need to be more supported in general. So um, if we can do any help to get more fans to come watch and obviously see the amazing team that we have, then... We, I mean, that's something that is a huge positive for any program. One more question. I know y'all spend like a lot of time <clears throat> practicing with like the student practice squad. Mm -hmm. How do they like allow you to grow as players? The practice team? Yeah, the practice team. <laughs> um, they're great. Uh, that's they definitely welcome us to physicality. <laughs> uh, I, uh, but yeah, they're definitely they bring the intensity. Um, they push you hard, and obviously as. Um, practice players, they allow us to see, you know, the fastest, strongest, um, most physical people. So being able to work with them and compete versus them, I think, will help us in the ACC for sure. Did you have that at Fresno also? Or is that yeah, that we did. did. We did. Mm -hmm. Just not as many. Just not as many. There's a lot. And of they're long and tall. Yeah, they're quick too. <laughs> so.